President. As uh, stated by the other speakers today, Andy Gross defends here his last report to this assembly. This is a remarkable moment in the history of this assembly. He is still with us. He even will chair our very important election observation mission to Turkey and then report back in Sofia to the Standing Committee. But in this assembly today, we deal with his final uh, report here. Somewhat cynically, we call this our progress report, but Andreas will be amongst the first to state that not much progress has been made in recent times. We are, in a certain respect, even not moving forward, but backward. And I know how much this makes our rapporteur wor worry. Many times he referred to the phrase that was meant to be the school for democracy often appeared to be the hospital for democracy. For example, after years of progress in electoral processes in our member states, we now observe backward developments. Freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of fear to cast your votes are, I quote our rapporteur, the gasoline for democratic elections. Without these freedoms, elections become without meaning. Amongst us, Andreas Gross has observed by far the most elections, often as a chair and always very much involved. We are going to miss his experience in this assembly, I'm sure. Perhaps he would be so kind, now he is getting time enough and to spare, to write a last contribution uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to our work, his analysis of what we are doing right and what, what, went, uh, what went wrong in organizing elections in our 47 member states. I would be most interesting in his uh, analysis and many of our colleagues uh, too. Election observation is core business of this assembly, but it should also lead to improvement of electoral processes and instead of less respect for elementary rights in an electoral process and ongoing exclusion and banning of po poli political parties and politicians from participating in elections and in the political life. A very worrying development is the fact that we, in our member states, ever more exclude elected politicians from doing their political work, also for this assembly. A growing number of countries consider it ap appropriate to refuse certain members of the assembly to participate in election observation missions or in our committee meetings outside Strasbourg and Paris. Sometimes parliaments do not allow their own members to participate in these activities. And some other countries do not allow our members in. Ukraine, Georgia, Azerbaijan, to mention a few. Furthermore, we see countries creating so-called blacklists with politicians, journalists, human rights activists, and other people, prohibiting these blacklisted people to enter their countries. Russia is known for it. Ukraine just published a list of 400 blacklisted people. And the member states of the European Union have made a long list of politicians from the Russian Federation and Ukraine who are not allowed in. Mr. President, if we do not allow parliamentarians to meet, to talk and to decide together, we are on the wrong track in Europe. On top of this all, this assembly has, has excluded, for good or bad reasons, the delegation of our biggest member states to participate on equal footing in the work of this assembly, after which that member state decided not to allow elected members of parliament to participate in whatever part of our work in uh, Russia. As said, whatever reasons might have been behind this exclusion, in the end, it does not make sense. All these excluding measures make us politicians, in the end, lame ducks. May I ask the rapporteur whether he agrees that we are moving backward in this respect and that we should really do our utmost to overcome this very worrying development of exclusion in our member states and in our assembly itself? And would he support the idea that this assembly should, to begin with, call for an end to the blacklisting of politicians and the exclusion from elected members of parliament from doing that job. Once again, danke, danke sehr, lieber Andreas. Du hast eine große Arbeit für uns gemacht und mit uns. On behalf of the United uh, European Left, we thank you a lot. We wish you well and we will miss you. Thank you very much.